Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today I have about six months worth of empties, Bath and Body Works, um, and other home fragrance items that I have here to show you today. Now before I start showing you all of my products, please keep in mind that um, most of these were halfway or more than halfway empty whenever I started using them. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it because I do have quite a bit to show you today. Um, I'm going to start out with the sets that I used first. And first we have here uh, Tiki, sorry, Mango Mai Tai, the spray and the lotion. See if that'll stand up. All right, and I really enjoyed this fragrance. Um, probably would not repurchase as I just seemed like I just got tired of the scent after a while. Next, I have the uh, Hibiscus Guava Fresca in the um, Body Splash and the lotion as well. Let me try backing these up a little bit. All right, see if that's a little bit better. Now, the hibiscus guava fresca did smell really good. It smelled like bubble gum to me. I enjoyed it, but at the um, when I was about halfway through, I just got tired of the scent, so I would not repurchase that either. A lot of these I would not repurchase just because Bath & Body Works has such a wide selection um, excuse me, of items, and there's just so much to choose from. Next, I have the... Uh, Warm Vanilla Sugar um, Body Spray and Lotion. I would repurchase that. That is one of my favorite scents. And here is a Raspberry and Sweet Mint. I would repurchase that. That was a really nice scent for me. And I actually got compliments on that scent, which never happens with my um, Bath & Body Works whenever I spray let's see here do i have any more matches yes i do and here is a pear blossom and air i did not like this scent was not very fond of it at all i would not repurchase that and here is a trio that i have of be joyful the body spray the shower gel and the lotion now i do know that the shower gel is not all the way empty yet but I am going to go ahead and put it in this video um, because I will be done with it in the next week or so. Now that is all for my um, matches. The next is just um, little items here and there. I have a Pure Daydream by Victoria's Secret. That was about gone whenever I first started it. Um, here is a Such a Flirt by Victoria's Secret. Let me get some of these items out the way so it's easier to see. Okay, so I moved those fragrances out of the way so I would have more room. Next is a cup of warmth shower gel. I really enjoyed that scent. I would repurchase it if they ever came back out with it again. But I don't think Bath & Body Works has any plans on coming back out with it. Next is a uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Lotion. Uh, I would not repurchase that. It used to be one of my favorites and I used to get it a lot whenever I was younger. And I just think I've just kind of just gotten tired of it. But it still smells really good. Next is a Dreamy Vanilla uh, Body Lotion by Victoria's Secret. I would definitely repurchase this if they ever came back out with it. Next is Pure Daydream Fragrance Mist by uh, Victoria's Secret. I'm sorry, Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. Um, I would definitely keep repurchasing this. Uh, Pure Seduction and Love Spell are two scents that I always have to have by Victoria's Secret. Next is a Mango Temptation. Uh, it smelled really good. I enjoyed it, but I would not repurchase it. Next is an Amber Blush, a Fine Fragrance Mist. I would, I would repurchase that. It does smell really good. Here is a Thousand Wishes Fine Fragrance Mist. I would repurchase it. It smells really nice. Carried Away Fine Fragrance Mist. I would not repurchase that. I've kind of just gotten tired of the scent. 
And the next um, spray that I have here is kind of a little perfume from Rue 21. I believe it's called Rue Expression. It smelled nice, um, but I would not repurchase that. It was not a favorite from Rue 21. And here I have one last lotion. It was the Energy Aromatherapy by Bath & Body Works in Orange Ginger. Um, I like the way this smelled. Oh, there's a hair on it. I'm sorry. I like the way this one smelled. However, whenever I applied it to my hands or my body, it felt real tingly and felt like my hands were swollen. So I just used it to shave my legs in the bathroom. I would not repurchase that. Here I have two pocket bags and mango hibiscus and a uh, fresh strawberries. I would um, not repurchase that. Again, Bath & Body Works has so many options to choose from when it comes from pocket bags. And there's uh, so many out there to choose from. So I would not repurchase them. They both smell really good, however. And the last of my body care, I have a uh, Sweet Pea Golden Sugar Scrub. I really do love Bath & Body Works Sugar Scrubs. However, I do not like this formula. It feels way too oily whenever I applied it. So I just used it on my feet in the shower. And next I am going to move on to my hand soaps and my candles that I used up. Okay, so I have for my first hand soap that I used up was a watermelon lemonade. I used this in my daughter's bathroom. She really enjoyed it. However, um, this would not be a repurchase for me. The same thing with sun ripened raspberry. It was in her bathroom. She really loved it. She absolutely loves this scent. I, however, have not ever been a fan of it. And this again was in my daughter's bathroom. We both enjoyed that pumpkin cupcake. I would definitely repurchase that one. And these next three uh, were used in my bathroom. I had a cucumber melon, which I love the scent. However, I would not repurchase. Coconut pumpkin latte. I absolutely love that scent. I would keep repurchasing it over and over um, if they ever come back out with it again. And this next one, um, as you can tell, it is uh, not empty. However, I am going to put this in the video because it will be empty in the next week or so. And I do have one more fragrance mist that I am going to put in this video because I, um, it's uh, the Victoria's Secret Snow Mint. I use that as a uh, bed spray whenever I wake up in the morning and I'm making my bed. Right before I make my bed, I spray my sheets and then I spray my comforters with this. And um, as I said, I'd use it every morning, so I do know it's going to be used up uh, within the next uh, week or so. Now, next we have candles. A lot of these candles are Glade candles um, that I use in my daughter's bathroom. This first one, let me see. I don't know. I can't remember the names of them, but I have this one. As you can see, uh, there's soot all around it. I hate these candles, but for two bucks, it's not bad. And they do smell up the room. Uh, there's this one. I have no idea. This one was apple cinnamon. Um, I did not smell that one at all while I was burning. This is the only one that I would not repurchase. This was a, a Hawaiian breeze with uh, something with something else in it. But this one is my favorite. I would definitely keep repurchasing that. And then this one was um, one of the Airwick Life Scents that had the different, I'm sorry about the glare, you guys. I should have turned off that flash. But um, it had the different scents in them as you burned it. That one was really good. I like that. And then I have some of the Bath & Body Works mini candles. This was Sunset Beach. It smelled really good. However, you could not smell anything when it's lit. And along with the peach bellini, love it, but you can't smell the mini candles. I just burned the mini candles because they look nice and pretty. This is a uh, sparkling icicles. 
and Hawaiian hibiscus. And that concludes all of my empties videos, guys. I want to say uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please subscribe down below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.